the district attorney's office in Fulton should be the beacon of the Southeast. It should be the absolute best office between Washington, D.C. and Miami. And right now what you have is a office of dysfunction and corruption, and we deserve better. And I am the right choice to improve it. Corruption, uh, Ms. Willis, that's a strong word uh, to level against the office that Paul Howard has run for nearly a quarter of a century. If he, if he gets reelected, it'd be more than 25 years. You have a DA sitting there that doesn't have the qualifications and the experience to do the job. What I can guarantee you is with my reputation, with my community ties, I am going to be able to attract the best and the brightest minds to that office. You're sitting with someone today that actually wants to make a difference because they deserve a DA that won't have sex with his employees, because they deserve a DA that won't put money in their own pocket when it should go to benefit fit children because we deserve better. A few years later. A co-defendant in the election interference indictment against former President Donald Trump has more to say. Michael Roman claims Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis and special prosecutor Nathan Wade were dating before she was sworn in back in 2021. Meantime, the state senators investigating Willis over her alleged improper relationship with Wade met for the first time. They are trying to see if any laws were broken. The committee could hear from whistleblowers inside of Willis's own office. This panel does have subpoena power, so they can also compel Willis to testify. Republicans want to hear from her, but Democrats think she can and should try to fight it. It's not a given. No. You know, if I will certainly give her the opportunity, you know, and if I were her, I would want to be her. Some of it is very personal. Um, I just don't think she would participate in it. Now, just this week, Willis fought against a subpoena that would compel her to testify in Fulton County Superior Court next Wednesday. We still don't know if she will be able to be excused or if that subpoena will hold. Countries, this has never happened in our country before. And the local DAs are part of it and the attorney generals are all a part of it. You saw what happened in Atlanta with Fani, F-A-N-I, Fani. How do you pronounce F-A-N-I, Fani? They interviewed her before. I would never have an affair with anybody in my office. Well, she had an affair. <laughs> and they paid the guy almost a million dollars. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I gotta give you guys an update on this bombshell story, my favorite story of 2024 involving Miss Fanny Pack Willis, who did come out and admit that she did let uh, Mr. Nathan Wade, the special prosecutor that she hired to go after her political opponent, Trump, throw his hot dog down her hallway okay they did in fact have a relationship and she claims that this relationship started after she had selected him to be the special prosecutor in the rico case against trump and his co-defendants however one of trump's co-defendants mr michael roman he's actually the hero in this story uh because he uh pulled back the curtain on this uh relationship that was happening uh, he has come out and called BS, right? He's saying, no, no, no. This relationship was going on long before uh, Miss Fannie Willis appointed Nathan Wade to be the special prosecutor in the Trump Rico case. Okay, so he's challenging uh, Miss Fannie Willis in her testimony. The timeline of when she started letting Nathan throw his hot dog down her hallway, okay? He is challenging that and saying, no, this has been going on for a while, which is a big deal because it supports the fact that, hey, these people were in a relationship before uh, she decided to appoint him to uh, be a part of the RICO case, which could suggest that Miss Fannie Willis is improperly using taxpayer funds to benefit herself. Now, these are just one of the allegations that is coming against Miss Fannie Willis about the misuse of taxpayer funds, which has opened the door for people to ask a lot of questions about, well, if she is misusing taxpayer funds when it comes to going out there political opponents, what is she doing with her office? Okay, the office that she runs in Fulton County, which there are now allegations of her misusing funds uh, in that office. And a lot of people are asking questions about how she's using those taxpayer funds. And this has become the subject of an investigation, not just from uh, the Georgia state legislators, but also from the federal government as well, 
two. Well, look who's here joining us now, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene from House Oversight. Congresswoman, a pleasure to have you on. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, we've been wanting to talk to you about your ethics complaint against Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis. She's overseeing the Georgia 2020 case against Trump. Can you tell us about your complaint? Yes, I just filed this complaint against Fonnie Willis because according to the Georgia Finance uh, Disclosure Act, Fonnie Willis, as a district attorney for Fulton County, is required to file financial disclosures. All office holders, we all have to do this. However, she did not file financial disclosures in 2019, 2021, and 2022. Now we all know about her secret boyfriend. It is now public. She was having a personal relationship with Nathan Wade. Nathan Wade is the prosecutor that she hired and is paying the most money out of her entire team. And he has the least amount of experience. He's never tried a RICO case before. She's paying him $250 an hour, which is nearly $700,000. She's paid Nathan Wade, but yet they're having a personal relationship. Here's the problem. Nathan Wade did not file as a lobbyist when he courted Fonnie Willis as his girlfriend to hire him uh, for this job. Now, they've taken, uh, you know, uh, luxurious vacations, Caribbean cruises, Napa Valley trips, and we don't know how many restaurants they've eaten at. How much has Nathan Wade basically paid off Fannie Willis for the job that he is being hired to do? And he's being paid by the taxpayers here in Georgia. Fonnie Willis has completely betrayed the trust of the people here in Georgia. She needs to be taken off this case. This whole case needs to be dismissed. But the big thing that needs to happen is there needs to be a serious investigation on the ethics committee here in Georgia into Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade. Both of them have serious problems. Let's yeah, so you see now you heard that. So on top of what Marjorie Taylor Greene said, we cannot forget that House Judiciary Committee leader Jim Jordan has issued a subpoena against Miss Fanny Pack because of whistleblower allegations that allege that she ignored the whistleblower who was revealing the fact that people in her staff were misusing uh, federal tax dollars that were supposed to be used to establish programs for violence prevention and you know, keeping kids out of gangs and stuff like that. But instead, the federal tax dollars uh, were used to buy computers and swag and to take trips and, and things like that, okay? And a whistleblower exposed this, and that prompted uh, Jim Jordan to issue a subpoena to Fannie Willis to testify on the possible misuse of federal taxpayer dollars by her office, okay? So now it is actually getting worse because apparently, allegedly, there are more uh, whistleblowers that have now come forward to testify about the misuse of taxpayer dollars by the Fulton County DA's office. And that is a part of the Georgia Senate Special Committee investigation into uh, Miss Fannie Willis. And again, this is just another example of how the case against Miss Fannie Willis is getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Okay. I mean, she could possibly be facing federal charges for these allegations if they are true, which, you know, in my opinion, I have no reason to believe that it's not true. Again, these Democrats seem to love projecting, okay, because when they boohoo whine and they cry and they point the finger at Trump and accuse him of a bunch of things, right, they're really accusing him of things that they do, right? Again, uh, Miss Fannie Willis seems to be much more corrupt than the people that she's trying to politically prosecute, okay? And I think that she deserves... Uh, everything that is happening to her right now. And I'm actually loving, loving seeing this case fall apart because of her corruption. Again, it's amazing to me how this woman had the unmitigated gall to go into a black church and to boohoo, whine, and cry racism uh, in regards to the allegations against her and to try to appeal to God uh, about the fact that she helped another man cheat on his wife. Again, it's absolutely insane, right? The corruption of these Democrats uh, really has no boundaries, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. This has come under fire for having an intimate relationship with special prosecutor Nathan Wade. Wade is assisting in the Trump election interference case. Fox News' Deidre Dukes is live at the state capitol with the day's developments. Deidre. And we heard from the first time today during that committee meeting that uh, 
So-called whistleblowers from inside the DA's office, we were told, have contacted the committee chair accusing DA Willis of misconduct and the misuse of funds. This is not any type of political witch hunt. This is a quest for the truth. State Senator Bill Kalzer dropped a bombshell as the meeting got underway. The committee chair said he's heard from several whistleblowers who are eager to testify. There are whistleblowers inside the Fulton County DA's office that are that are raising complaints and allegations about the misuse of both federal funds and state funds. Fulton. Wow. Wow. Again, this is a big deal. Why is this a big deal? Well, it's because now it's not just one whistleblower. There are now multiple whistleblowers saying that, yeah, this woman is corrupt as hell. Okay, she's out here misusing taxpayer funds. Um, she is completely unhinged, okay? And it's funny because she literally campaigned on the fact that her office wasn't going to be run like this. Her office wasn't going to be corrupt. You weren't going to have the uh, manager sleeping around with their subordinates, right? But uh, it seems like all of that is actually happening under her um, you know, leadership. And it's actually pretty crazy to see how the walls continue to close in on this woman, who again went to a black church to try to appeal before God about uh, her uh, allegations of corruption. Again, it's absolutely insanity, right? Absolutely insanity. So yeah, you now have more whistleblowers coming uh, forward, which suggests that these allegations are true, right? This woman, uh, she's going to go to prison, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm just saying, I, at least I hope so. Again, the GOP has some cohorts, right? She should be in prison. That's what I want to see. I want to see Miss Fanny behind bars. DA Fonnie Willis has come under fire for having an intimate relationship with Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade. Willis hired Wade to lead the 2020 Trump election interference case. You lose the confidence of the public in the fairness of our criminal justice system if they think prosecutors are engaging in prosecution so that their lovers can get rich. Attorneys for several Trump co-defendants want Willis disqualified and the charge is dismissed, saying she benefited financially from her relationship with Wade. I think a political witch hunt or show trial would damage Georgia's faith in both our political and legal system. Republican lawmakers spearheaded the committee over the objection of Senate Democrats who call the investigation a political witch hunt. Well, Again, it's amazing how Democrats are screaming political witch hunt over uh, the investigation into Fannie Pack Willis when the real political witch hunt is what Miss Fannie Pack Willis is doing to Trump, right? Again, it's amazing how that works. When there are investigations into people that uh, they support, oh, it's a political witch hunt. But when they're investigation into people that they don't, they don't like, oh, well, it's totally... Uh, legitimate, even though the people that are investigating the people that they don't like politically, uh, clearly and overtly are corrupt, right? They're, they're actual real proof and evidence that, yeah, she is corrupt, and that again, the real political witch hunt is what she's doing to Trump, right? Not what's happening to her. When you get right down to it, it goes as far back as the 2020 election. That's unfortunate. Over the next several months, the bipartisan panel will look into allegations of potential conflicts of interest and the misuse of state funds. Willis may be subpoenaed to testify. It's not a given. You know, if I will certainly give her the opportunity, you know, and if I were her, I would want to be heard. Now, the committee does not have the power to remove the DA from office, but based on their findings, they could make recommendations uh, for changes in state law and also uh, changes in funding appropriation. At the state capitol, Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. All right, well, it'll be interesting to see what comes of this. Thanks so much. Well, I hope something comes of it. Again, if nothing comes of it, then throw away the whole Republican Party, right? This one is a shut and close. Like I said, every time I make videos about Fannie Willis, if the Republicans can't get rid of her, right? If they can't at least get her off of this case, uh, in best case scenario, get her thrown into prison, throw away the whole damn party. Now, I don't have much faith in the Republicans out there in Georgia because they should have been investigating her from the get-go. It shouldn't even have gotten this far, okay? If they would have done their damn jobs when she initiated the uh, political persecution into Trump uh, when it first happened. Uh, but, you know, who knows? Maybe Brian Kemp is throwing his hot dog down her hallway too, right? <laughs> Maybe that's why, okay? Maybe Fanny Pack Willis is for the streets, okay? She's, <laughs> she's giving it away to everybody, okay, in order to try to protect herself. I have no clue why the uh, Republicans down there in Georgia are so weak when it comes to going after Miss Fanny Willis. But let's hope that they grow some cojones and to actually, you know, go after her if it is found that she broke the law I and mean, misusing taxpayer funds by her office 
is breaking the law and she should face consequences for it, right? She should be thrown in jail, in prison. She should face actual consequences for her actions. So again, if, if they can't get this done, <laughs> yeah, I'm done, right? I'm just like, yo, you guys are too weak for me, okay? I can't be a part of a weak party if you can't even get Fanny Pack Willis off the case. At the very least, she has to step down. At the very, very, very least, okay? That has to be done. And if that is done, that is going to be a big win for Trump, even if the case is not outright dismissed, because the goal is to get it pushed back until after the presidential election, right? That's the main uh, thing that you want to happen. And as long as uh, Miss Fannie Willis is caught up uh, with, you know, these allegations of this affair, the trial can't move forward, okay? And if she steps down, it's going to take time for them to replace her, to get uh, new people on the case. Um, so, you know, it, it looks like it's not going to happen before the election, but regardless, I don't want to see her get the W of continuing to stay on the case and then ultimately getting a conviction. If she actually can get a conviction, I really don't know. Uh, but regardless, um, she should be forced to step down and that will ultimately de delay the trial even more. Um, I think that she's, she's going to actually step down because I think Democrats are going to say, look, if you don't step, the longer you continue to drag this out. Uh, the longer that the trial is going to be pushed back. And I think ultimately that's the reason why she's going to step down. But um, they should pursue criminal charges against her and she should have to stand trial and to answer questions about her alleged misuse of taxpayer funds if it is found that she in fact did misuse taxpayer funds, which I believe is most likely the case due to the fact that we now have more whistleblower allegations coming out and people that are ready, ready to testify and to expose her and the corruption of her office. Again, you cannot write a better story in regards to uh, what has happened to Miss Fanny Pack Willis. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.